Hi, I'm Edo Beretta here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a rig for mirroring with Red9 Studio Pack. In a previous tutorial you will find on YouTube and um, you will find the link in the description of this video too, uh, I explained how to install Red9 Studio Pack. Red9 Studio Pack is a, a tool set that is very useful for animation, it provides you with a a lot of very interesting functionalities, one of which is the ability to mirror animation and poses and symmetrize uh, poses as well. Uh, obviously, you need to train the tool to recognize your rig, so we are going to try it here on this rig and see how that works. So the way Mirror9 mirror nine works is as follows. Uh, as follows, It needs, first of all, you to run the mirror setup from Mirror9, for Red9, sorry, and then essentially you have to tell this the tool which side of the character you're working on and any single object that you want to mirror must have a unique number identifying that object. That number is unique to one side of the object. So um, on the left side of the character there will only be a one object which has a number named, an ID named one for instance. However, mirror, uh, Red9 will use this ID to find the sibling on the opposite side. So on the opposite side, this object will also have an index of one. So the index can be shared, bet should be shared between siblings, and actually it must be shared between siblings, but it cannot be shared by objects which are on the same side. Otherwise, Red9 won't understand what is it that you want to do. The other thing that, that Red9 will want you to do is it will want you to specify which axes need mirroring. That's also fairly important. So let's try that. So I will make sure that my selection mask can only, can only select NURBS curves and I will start with the arms. So if I select this controller in here um, and I rotate it up, you see we're going in, uh, I rotate it up using gimbal axis by the way and to show this marking menu you hold down E, left mouse button drag and you go on to gimbal. So I rotate it up and this goes positive Z, then I grab the other arm, rotate it up positive Z. That means that there, are no, there needs to be no mirroring in here really, if you think of it, uh, no, no inversing rather. Then I move it forward and it goes negative Y, I move it forward and it, move, it goes negative Y. That's great, so that means that even uh, Y does not need any inversing. And then I twist it this way and it gives me positive, you see, positive X. I twist the left arm this way and it gives me positive X. So that means that this control does not really need any inversing. However, even in this case you have to tell that to Red9. You have to tell Red9, look, this guy doesn't need any inversing. So um, what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to set up the whole chain of the arm to invert, to, to mirror with Red9. Now it is imp I can do it with um, I can do it with uh, uh, more than one control selected at a time, and Red9 will start giving uh, progressing progressive IDs. So I can select hand, hold down shift and click on the forearm, select the the forearm, hold down shift, click on the shoulder, select the shoulder, and then I will go here, hold down shift, click on the clavicle, select the clavicle. So I start from the arm, from the hand, and I go up. And in there I will start from index 1 and then I will say this is the left side. So how do you decide whether you want to have left hand side or right hand side? That's based on the character's point of view. So according to the character this is the left, left hand side. So that's how we do things. So if I say do not invert stuff, that's what uh, Mirror9 will be trained to do. And I will click on add update mirror markers and Red9 will ask for a um, confirmation and I press OK. Please notice that I'm working on the actual rig in here. I just clicked on File, Open and I opened the rig there. Okay, I didn't reference it. It just I'm just working on the actual rig there. So now if I go and check, if you want to go and check whether you are successfully uh, adding these indexes to your controls, you need to select the shoulder you click on refresh when selected, you see it has an index of 3, I expect the hand to have an index of 1, I click on refresh when selected, there you go. To check, to another further check that you can do is select the control, press control A on your keyboard to go into the attribute editor and if you go into the transform node, which is probably the first one, usually it's the first one, you will find the extra attributes that Red9 has added a side, an index and the mirror axis. 
of which there is none right now because this control does not do not does not need inverting. Then I need to go on the opposite side and do the same exactly with the same order. So I will start from the hand, one, then the forearm, there you go, then the shoulder, and then I will add the clavicle to the selection, and this is the right hand side and I can click on add an, up, add an update. I press OK. Now if you want to say, and you see now in the extra attributes I have right and the right index. So now if I want to see if this works, I only need to create a pose there. There you go. And then select both sets of controls, even if you select something else, it's not a big deal right now. And I click on mirror pose and the mirror is already working. Isn't it nice when things simply work? I think it is. So let's move on. I need to, I will do it for the center line, which is maybe less intuitive than one would normally think, perhaps, let's see. It's certainly different than the rest. So for the center right line, you have to again be in gimbal as far as rotation is concerned so that you can easily see the axis there. And I can clearly, I have to mirror the Y axis and I have to mirror the Z axis if I want to mirror um, uh, around the Y, Z plane there. So Y and Z. So I am telling Maya to invert rotation Y, rotation Z. Then the X, I don't need to mirror it. Then I go down here. Uh, oh yes, I need to check. What about translation? So I have to mirror the X translation, but I don't have to do it for the front and the up translation. That's a different thing, right? So I will mirror the X translation there. So here's the catch. I want to make sure I don't give an index that another object has in the scene. So in here, the highest index, I think it was on the clavicle and it's four. Usually what I do, I go to the next, the next uh, order of magnitude, so, so to speak. So uh, the next, um, uh, if, if I am here, if I'm at four, I will go straight onto 10, for instance. So I don't risk to clash and it still gives me room for, you can go up as high as you want with this number, so who cares? So I will click on add an, add an update and now you see I have the mirrors, uh, the mirror uh, side, the index and the rotate values, uh, axis. I am going to do the same in here. Uh, X is clearly the axis to uh, mirror. The others are not even there. I will give it 11 as an index, so a different number. I will add an update. The mirror side is center, of course, because this is the center line. I probably want to do that with um, for the head as well. So I will grab the head translate X and rotate Y and Z. So translate X, rotate Y and Z, mirror index of 12, and an update. There you go. And that's sorted. Then I will go down here and this guy again, translate X for sure and Y and Z. So same thing. So number 13, add an update. This guy, X translate, Y and Z translate again. So uh, rotate again, so 14, add an update. This is a control we tend to use a lot. And again, Z rotation, Y rotation, X translation. So again, you see that usually if the rig is done with a certain philosophy in mind, you can just select a bunch of controllers belonging to the center and give them the same attributes. It doesn't matter really, because if the rigger was thinking in a certain way, he will have made things so that they are consistent. I'm going to check with the, with the legs. So certainly translate X and rotate Y and rotate Z. So translate X, rotate Y, rotate Z. This pole, pole vector here, translate X. So this will work anyway. I want to try and select first the foot, then the pole vector and give this, I don't know, an index of 20. Tell Maya this is left. I want to see if this will work even if you see I only have translation there. So I will select foot, pole vector, add, add. It works. I do the same in here, foot, and pole vector, and this time I'm on the right hand side, add and add. And now I want to create a pose in there and see if, I, if the mirror works or if I get some error somewhere. So to mirror, I need to select both controls on both sides and I click on mirror pose, you see it works. Nice. That's for free, of course. That's nice. Now, for the rolling of the food, I need to check. I probably need to mirror the rotate Z and the rotate Y. So I'm going to select left, 
I'm going to give it 25 as an index. We said rotate Z and Y. Translation is not even an option there. So one, that's on the left. I select its neighbor, right, that's on the right, and I add. Now I want to see if that works. So I'm going to select all of the controls that make the pose in here. For this food, there you go. And I'm going to mirror pose. I'm not sure this is working. I don't think this is working because I don't see any foot roll happening on the left foot. So I'm going to double check that. So I'm going to refresh select it. It's the left. We rotate Y and Z. So that seems to be okay. And the and the index is rotate Y and rotate Z. That's correct. This guy is a 20. 5 right rotate y rotate z so perhaps I didn't select them when I mirrored let's see ah there you go I didn't select them so they were working indeed another control we normally use is certainly this one so again rotate y and rotate z you see how it's easy I mean once you understand how the rig build this thing it becomes really really easy so this is a 26 and this is a left hand side then I grab the opposite controller, make it a right hand side and add the uh, markers and then the heel again Y and Z. So this is the right hand side, it's a 27, remember to update the index, add and then we go left, same thing, add. So now if I make a pose in here and I grab all the controls down there and I do a mirror pose, there you go, you see. I get the mirrored pose, which is great. So that's about it. I think I will need to do uh, fingers. So for fingers, this is going to take a tiny bit longer. So essentially, I will have to, to understand first the rotation axis. And it seems to me, let's see how that works. So if I open up the pinky that way, I know it sounds crazy. Uh, I get a rotation value of Y. I suspect the rigger here uh, made it so that we will have the same values. And in fact, you see, we've got the same values. So all I need to do for these fingers, in my opinion, would be to select um, all of them. We have a lot of, actually, you know what? I was saying we have a lot of patience, but I already ran out of patience. There you go. And these guys are on the right hand side. So let me just save a selection here using post to shelf as a tool to save the selection. Uh, you don't have to do it. I'm just doing it for my own sake. And all of these guys in here, I will give them an index of 100 so that I don't mix this stuff up with anybody else. And I will click on add an update. Oh, actually, wait a second. They are on the right hand side. And I will add an update. There you go, that's sorted. Now I will need to um, do the same thing on the right hand side. So I will have to select the fingers in the same order and do the same thing on the right hand side. So I will pause the video and I will come back once I'm done. There you go, I'm back. And now if I select both fingers there, hopefully, actually if I select the whole thing, hopefully I should be able to mirror it. Ta -da! And in fact, I can mirror it. I can also symmetrize it. So right to left, I suppose. Oh, let's see if it works. So I will grab these guys, grab these guys. Ah, oh, no, sorry, I'm symmetrizing the animation. What am I doing? So I'm symmetrizing the pose. There you go. It works. I can symmetrize it. So that's a lot easier to work with if, if, if you think of it. Now, if you grab all the controls and you zero out all of the animation, the character will go back to its default position. And we can save this as a new version of the rig which you will then re-reference in your animation. So I will just save it as a new version of the rig. Now, the uh, mirror configs can be exported to an external file through Red9 and imported into an external file. So you don't even need to store them in the rig. Although for smaller projects, it's probably faster to store them, st store them in the rig, really. But that's about it. So that's how you do it. Obviously, you, you would have to go through every single controller of your rig. And if you ever switch this to 
f to ik you will need to do the same work for ik so the rig isn't really finished we just did the very basics to show you the principle so that's it if you have any questions just leave it in the comment below and i will try to answer have fun